Hello, in this video we're going to learn about decimals. This is just part one of many. What is a decimal? A decimal is a number that shows a value less than one whole. So any number, whether it's one, two, three, whatever whole number, is always going to be greater than any decimal number. It doesn't matter if the decimal number has a gazillion nines. It's still going to be, always be smaller than one. All right, so let's talk about decimal place value. Uh, just like in whole numbers, decimals have place value. In whole numbers, we know that the first place value, which is to the left of the decimal point, is called the ones place. The second uh, place value is called the tens place. We kind of mirror these on the right side of the decimal, except we don't start with the ones place. We start with the tenth place. And there's a THS at the end. It should um, sound like you're spitting, really. Um, then the next one we have is the hundredths place. And after that, the thousands place, and so on. These go on just like in regular whole numbers. So the next one after the thousands will be ten thousands, then hundred thousands, millionths, and so forth. So how do we say decimals? Well, in order to say decimals, um, what you have to know is, first of all, how to say whole numbers, right? We can all say whole numbers. Here we have a four. So four, we just say four. Um, but there's a tricky uh, part to this. When we have decimals included, we have to remember that for the decimal point itself, we say the word and. We can't just say 4.6. I mean, you can, but it won't be, like, correct. Um, you have to use the word and for the decimal point. So we have so far 4 and. And then here, we say the decimal number like we would normally. So this is 6, right? But we say the place value of the 6 as well. So the 6 is in the tenths place. So we would say this entire number as 4 and six tenths. That's how we say that number. Let's do some practice about that. All right, so here we have a couple numbers. Number one says 13 or 13 decimal point five. How do we say this number? The whole numbers are very easy. We say those like normal. So this is 13. And then remember, we substitute the decimal point with the word and. And then the five here. We say like we would normally, but we say also the place value. So the 5 is in the tenths place. Therefore, we would say that this number is 13 and 5 tenths. Let's take a look at number 2. Here we have the whole number 4, so that's just regular 4. And then we have and for the decimal point. And then here, this is tricky because there's a 0 in the tenths place. So we would say this number like we would normally if it was a whole number. So 0, 8 would just be called 8. And then we say the place value of the last digit in the decimal point, in the decimal number, I'm sorry. So we say 4 and 8, and the 8 is in the hundredths place. So we would say 4 and 8 hundredths. All right, let's look at some uh, more problems. These I'm going to give you a little bit of time so you can practice them on your own. Here we have 2, 3, decimal point, 0, 4, 5. Okay, I'll give you some time now. All right, hopefully by now you, you already know how to say this number. And you should have said that this side is 23 because it's just 23 holes. And then over here we would say the word and for the decimal point. And then this side of the decimal, we would say that number like we would normally if it was a whole number. So 0, 4, 5 would just be 45. And then we say the last place value. The last number that is in the decimal side is the one that gives it uh, the name that goes at the end when we say the whole thing. So 23 and 45, and the 5 happens to be in the thousands place, so it's 23 and 45 thousands. Let's take a look at number 4. I'll go ahead and give you some time for that as well. Okay, time's up. So you should know how to say the left side of the decimal. Those are regular whole numbers. Here we have 6. We say the word and for the decimal point, and again, we say this side like we would normally if it was a whole number, except we always give uh, the last place value of the decimal as the, as the last word when we say the whole thing together. So here we have 6 and 9, and the 9 happens to be in the thousands place, so it's 6 and 9 thousands. So there you have it. That's part one of decimals. Thanks for watching. Check out more at mr.nationunions.com.